Hi, and welcome to another edition of the High School Huddle. We had the slow week of the high school season, slow two weeks, where we had those bye week games we needed to get past, but now we get into the real thing. It's district play. I'm Travis Brown, reporter for the DFW Varsity, and here is DFW Varsity editor Eric Zarati. And uh, let's get right into what we saw last week in last week's epic moment. That had to be Fort Worth Dunbar over Birdville, 49-44. to uh, A last-second pass from uh, Laquarian Peoples to Devonta Kinney, 30 yards four seconds left I mean you don't get any better than that no I thought uh, on Twitter I was following it and I thought Birdville had it in hand they scored with like 31 seconds left I thought they had the game and Dunbar comes back uh, it's their biggest win in years mm -hmm. uh, for sure especially in the regular season uh, they they've always had trouble trouble uh, against teams outside mm -hmm. loop 820 the coach uh, coach Todd Lawson uh, said so. They finally got a win against somebody that's uh, that's a, a non Fort Worth ISD opponent, and they're pretty proud of it. They right, it. right. Said it was like a playoff win for them. So, uh, great win for them. Let's move into the picks for this upcoming week. Uh, first off, we have Arlington Martin versus Arlington, seven and thirty p.m. Friday at Maverick Stadium on the campus of UTA. Uh, what do you see in that matchup? That's a. Uh, uh, Martin has got to be the favorite. They are uh, coming in on a roll. Arlington High has lost their last two games. Uh, again, like you said, both teams had a bye last week. Arlington lost their last two games coming in, and they lost five fumbles in those two games. They've got to avoid those mistakes. Uh, quarterback Michael Gray has done been very effective uh, passing the ball and running the ball. He needs a little more help offensively, I think. Uh, Martin can definitely move the ball, and uh, uh, they've got – uh, on the defensive side, of course, Miles Garrett, who already has five and a half sacks uh, through three games and 11 tackles for loss. I don't see uh, Arlington getting past Martin on this one. I, I have to agree to you, Martin, on that one. Arlington had a good game against uh, uh, last week against Louisville. It came down to a windy day, field position, uh, a kind of a punt that got caught up in the wind. Uh, but I still take Martin over Arlington in this one. Uh, moving on, we have Colleyville Heritage at Euless Trinity. It's been a rough go for Euless Trinity in this pre-district schedule. I think they'll be happy to take a deep breath and get into district play. Do you think think that uh, this is where they really kind of spread their wings and, and, and work their way into their season? I'd have to say so. Um, Trinity played a really tough non-district schedule against Jenks, Oklahoma. They lost to Soto, of course, uh, probably one of the best two or three teams in the state, and uh, finally get a win against Arkansas's best at Bentonville High School. Uh, Colleyville Heritage has got some offense, there's no doubt, but I think uh, Trinity uh, has got their running game. Uh, on track, and as long as they can avoid penalties, uh, I think they'll be able to to take that first district win. Exactly, it's it's Trinity in this one. Heritage is a good team. I don't think this is quite the match, the Heritage Trinity matchup that we've seen in in, in a few years past. Um, I think Trinity will take care of this one pretty easily. Um, moving on, also now we have Justin Northwest at Keller. Who, after all these teams that we have mentioned, your Arlington Martins, your Trinities, your Colleyville Heritage, who would have thought that the first undefeated matchup we'd get to today would be Justin Northwest at Keller? Quite true. Two three and zero teams. Um, the thing that I see is that uh, Keller's three and zero is against uh, teams that are a combined six and four. Northwest has uh, three wins against teams that are a combined three and eight. I got to give it to Keller just on strength of schedule. Right, right. I, I'm going to have to give it to Keller too. Justin Northwest has a great spread offense. They can move the ball around. They can pass the ball around. But I think this is this is Keller's year. They just have a better strength of schedule to me as well. So I'm I'm going Keller as well. Uh, we have also Richland at Keller Fossil Ridge. This is a Thursday game at Keller ISD Athletic Complex. Um, Fossil Ridge has proven to be one of the better teams in the area. Do you think they have what it takes to uh, move past Richland this week? I think so. They did come off. Well, they're, they are coming off a loss, but They've got uh, Jacob Najinski, a really good quarterback. He's thrown for over 900 yards, tops in the area among 5A schools. Uh, Richland lost their last two games. I think uh, Keller is, I mean, Fossil Ridge is going to uh, open district play with a, a solid win here. Mm -hmm. Both teams have solid. Solid losses, if you say so much. Yes. I mean, Richland, Birdville, Rockwall Heath. Rockwall Heath is a good team this year. But Fossil Ridge's one loss comes to Hebron. Hebron is one of the best 
teams in the area. Fossil Ridge is one of the best teams in the area. Fossil Ridge over Richland. And finally wrapping up uh, these picks, we have uh, the Pirates of Granbury at Fort Worth South Hill, 7.30 p.m. Friday at Scarborough Hanley Field. Uh, does Granbury roll on to 4-0? Uh, I think so. Both teams are undefeated, but uh, I think Granbury is a little bit better prepared. Uh, they've had uh, they've just played a tougher schedule, I think, and uh, they're ready to let folks know in the district that they're ready to contend for for a, a playoff spot, a, a really high seed in that district. We're just we're just getting along so well today. <laughs> I am going to take Granbury as well. I just think that they have the overall more complete team than Fort Worth South Hills. Okay, let's go no huddle real quick. First, we have probably one of the best in the North Texas area, one of the best matchups, Coppell at Allen. Who do you have? Uh, it, that's tough. Both state rank, Allen's number one. But I'm going to, just to be different, I think I'm going to pick Coppell in an upset. Ooh, going with Joe McBride's team over there. I love what he does at Coppell. Can't go against the defending state champions. I got Allen. Cedar Hill at Duncanville. Uh, Cedar Hill comes off a tough loss against DeSoto. Uh, I think uh, they'll be ready, and uh, I think they'll handle Duncanville. I have Cedar Hill as well. Mansfield at Mansfield Timber. Your little Mansfield battle there. What do you have there? Two red hot teams. I mean, hot Mansfield, but even more red hot Timberview. I got to give it to Timberview. I have it five and zero. I have Timberview as well. And finally, Arlington Seguin at Ennis. Uh, good start for district play. Good test for uh, for Seguin in district play. It's at Ennis. Uh, got to give it to Ennis. You know, I'm going to pick uh, Arlington Seguin in this one. So uh, we'll see how that. Tarrant County team does out east. Uh, this is thanks for joining in for another edition of the High School Huddle. Go to your games this Thursday and Friday. Check it out. Come back to dfwvarsity.com for all the best recaps and stats. And we'll see you back here again for another edition of the High School Huddle.